we have two types of data analysis for, for our statistical treatment. It also depends on the type of research that you're going to use in your study, if it's a quantitative research or qualitative research. For the quantitative data analysis, the first step that you have to do is prepare your data. Always keep in mind that no data organization means no sound data analysis. Kasi nga si quantitative data analysis or quantitative research ay nakadepende yung kanyang result doon sa magiging computation ng numbers or ng kanyang mga statistics. Para ma-prepare yung data, we have two sub-steps. Yung una ay si coding system. Ang ibig sabihin, quantify or change the verbally expressed data into numerical information. So, yung mga words or images and pictures ay i-convert into numbers para merong compute para sa kanya. Kunyari, yung mail, ang code na para sa kanya ay number one. Or yung female, ang code na ibibigay sa kanya, depende sa researcher, number two naman. Kasi hindi naman siya magagawa yung mga mathematical operation kung naka-word yung mga gagamitin ninyong data. Hindi makapag-divide, hindi makapag-multiply, subtract, or add. Kung naka-word sila, unless yung word na yon ay na-transcribe or na-translate into numbers. Meron tayong example kanina, yung kay male at saka female. Kung kunyari naman, yung kanilang educational attainment which is part ng inyong variable, for example, sa study ninyo, kung elementary siya, ang code niya ay number 2. Kung high school, pwede ibigay sa kanya 4. Kay college, number 6. Kung may master, number 9. Kay PhD, number 12. Depende sa researcher kung ano yung numbers na nakalagay doon. And by coding each item with a certain number in a data set, you are able to add the points or the values of the respondent's answer to a particular questionnaire item. And yung second, in preparing your data, you're going to use data tabulation. Sa data tabulation, you have to collate the data through table and using frequency and percentage para sa para mas maging madali yung classification and distribution of numbers. Imbis na graph yung gagamitin, ang gagamitin ay table. Tapos merong mga percentage doon na nakalagay. Kunyari doon sa first column ng inyong table, nandun yung demographic profile nila, yung gender, yung course, yung school. Sa second column, nakalagay doon yung mga choices, ilan yung nagsagot, Tapos, i-per-percentage sila. Siyempre, depende dun sa 100%. Kunyari, ang male ay 11. Ang sumagot. Si female ay 13. Ang respondents nila dapat ay 24. Ang sample size ay 24. So, sa 24 na yon, ilang percent ang sumagot na male? So, dahil 11, 46% yon. Dahil 13 ang sumagot na female, over dun sa sample size na 24, so 13 over 24, ang percentage niya ay 54%. Dun yun sa gender. Yun yung kanyang mga example. After na-prepare ng data, nabigyan na siya ng code, or gumawa na rin ng tabulation for the data. Meron ng table yung data. I-analyze na yung data. 
si data coding kanina at saka si tabulation are the two important things that you have to do in preparing your data for analysis before immersing yourself as a researcher into studying every component of the data ano yung gagamitin ninyong quantitative analysis pwede kayo mamili dyan kung descriptive statistical technique or dun sa susunod natin i-discuss for descriptive statistical technique it provides the summary of the orderly or sequential data obtained from the sample through data gathering instrument use. Yung mga results ng analysis na yan reveal the following aspects of an item in a set data. Kung yan yung napili ninyo for your data or kung quantitative kayo, yan yung pwedeng gamitin na statistical treatment frequency distribution, or yung merong mga percentage. Una muna, ano yung kanyang measurement scale? Ano yung code na ginamit? Ano yung frequency distribution? Frequency distribution, yung bilang kung ilan yung sumagot. Kunyari, ang sample size ay 24 or yung total number ng respondents 11 dun ang male so 11 ang ilalagay sa frequency ilan ang female kung 13 13 yung ilalagay sa frequency distribution tapos ilan yung percentage no dalawa na yon yung another Computation para sa data ay yung measure of central tendency. Diyan nagagamit ng mean, ng median, at saka ng mode. Si standard deviation, ipapakita niya kung ano yung extent ng differences ng mga data. Simula doon sa mean na ginamit. And Meron din siyang examination ng gap between dun sa mean and the data. Paano ginagawa si standard deviation? Una muna, kukumpute si mean. And then second, compute the deviation. Ano yung deviation? Yun yung difference between dun sa mga respondents answer. Pwede may plus sign nyo na mag-appear before the number or merong negative sign, if yung difference nila ay lower. So, yun yung step 2, compute the deviation. Step 3, compute the square of each deviation. Step 4, compute the sum of squares by adding the squared figure. Now, step 5, divide the sum of squares by the number of data items to get the variance and step six compute the square root of variance figure to get the standard deviation dun sa second type ng pag-analyze ng data ay si advanced quantitative data analysis madalas na ginagamit yan sa mga master degree or sa graduate level na students or dun sa mga doctoral degree na nagtitake na nung kanilang dissertations. Kaya siya advanced kasi ginagamit na siya ng software dahil madami na yung mga kailangan na data. Ang example ng mga software si SPSS, Stata, or yung Minitab. Ano yung mga parts na other formulas para sa advanced quantitative data analysis? Ginagamitan na siya ng correlation. In correlation, it uses statistical analysis to yield results that describe the relationship of two variables. Or pwede rin si ANOVA, analysis of variance. Sa ANOVA naman, yung kanyang mga results, 
ay determine yung differences ng mean and averages of two categories of data. For example, if yung mean ng grades of a student attending the tutorial lessons is significantly different from the mean ng mga grades ng student na hindi umaaten doon sa tutorial lessons. Yung another type naman ng computation ay si regression. Meron siyang similarities kay correlation, ano yung relationship ng mga variables, but it gives more extensive result than the correlation. Aside from indicating the presence of relationship ng dalawang variables, it will also determine whether a variable is capable of predicting the strength of the relation between dun sa independent variable and kay dependent variable. Pero, katulad ni correlation, hindi sila pwedeng mag come up doon sa cause and effect relationship. Kunyari, ang example ni regression, if reviewing with music, nagre-review kayo ng may music, yun yung treatment variable. And is it statistically significant predictor doon sa extent of the concept learning? Yung concept learning niya is yung dependent variable of a person. Nagig, naka, depende yon Yung learning ng isang tao, nakadepende kung may, naglagay siya ng music during the review or hindi, kung saan siya mas comfortable. Kaya, merong relationship yung si treatment variable or dun sa independent variable at saka dun sa dependent variable yun yung kay regression. We also have qualitative data analysis. Siyempre yung kanina, same then with the quantitative data analysis. Data analysis is the process of understanding your data or yung mga known facts or assumptions serving as the basis of your study or conclusions that you will have from your research. In qualitative, you will be collecting your data using the observation and the interview. And your primary aim in analyzing recorded data is to find out if they exist or operate to give answer to your research questions you raised before or prior to your acts of collecting them. In analyzing the data for qualitative research, you go through the coding and collating. So coding is the act of using symbols like letters or words to represent your data. Like, like the emotion, opinions, or attitudes. And for collating, on the other hand, is your way of bringing together the coded data. Giving the data an orderly appearance is putting them in a graph, specifically a table of response. Pwede rin kayong gumawa ng table dyan na nakalagay doon yung mga codes na nilagay ninyo per nakuha yung data. Ano yung code ng first emotion? Ano yung code ng second experiences? Depende na yon sa inyo as a researcher. Data matrix used to name the table of responses that consists of table of cases and their associated variables. So, dyan na nakalagay yung inyong mga data or yung inyong mga 
information. The data matrix has two types, yung profile matrix and proximity matrix that indicates the measurement of similaris, similarities and the differences between the items. Under the proximity matrix, if the measurement shows how that things are alike, kapag lahat yon magkakaparehas, meron silang pagkakapareho, ang tawag din doon ay similarity matrix. Kapag yung differences naman nila for the proximity matrix, yung pinakita ay, ang tawag doon ay dissimilarity matrix. Again, si profile matrix shows the measurements of variables or yung mga factors for a set of cases or respondents. Depende sa sino yung respondents na yon or sin, ano yung mga cases, ano yung situations nung inyong mga respondents or data for your research. Pag proximity matrix, yung similar and differences. Pag profile matrix, according doon sa type of respondents or the type of case for their situations.